Hello everyone, and welcome to today's meditation session. And in this session, it's wise to sit on something that's comfortable. So you could take a cushion or a yoga bolster and then placing it underneath your seat and come to a simple cross-legged position or perhaps you cross your shins or pointing your knees downwards and moving your heels in line with one another until you find a more triangular base to your meditation. And then when you feel ready to, closing your eyes. And here we'll take a deep breath in. Open the mouth, big sigh. Take a long, slow, deep breath in. And big sigh out. And then settling into stillness. I am going to begin your meditation session with a quote. Most people's lives are run by desire and fear. Desire is the need to add something to yourself in order to be yourself more fully. And fear is the fear of losing something and thereby becoming diminished and being less. But these two movements obscure the fact that being cannot be given or taken away. Being is the fullness that is already within you in this present moment. So nothing external can be added to us or taken away in order to make us more or less than ourselves. And so practicing with this quote in mind and this idea, we can then come home to our truest nature, exploring a presence or a beingness that is whole already. And so as we practice today, holding to mind this notion that you are whole already, that there is nothing that can add to your wholeness or your fullness. You as a person, you are complete. And on the flip side, nothing that you lose will ever diminish you and the fullness of your spirit. So you will never lose yourself in losing something external outside of yourself. And so by practicing meditation, we can really loosen our attachment to things outside of ourselves. And by meditating more and more, we can understand who we are, that vibrantly alive being at the center of our experience that is beyond what we identify with. So if we place our identity in our work or circumstance, and then that changes, we can often feel as though we've lost a part of ourself, or we may feel fear at the sense of being diminished or less than we used to be. But in this meditation, we will practice the practice of gratitude. So coming home to what we inherently have, what we already have in our lives and understanding that gratitude diminishes fear. Now, bringing your awareness to both hands and simply feeling the hands resting on the knees or resting in your lap. 
feel into the skin and the touch and the texture of your palm. And first of all, feel the thing or the material that your palm is touching by resting on your leg. Can you feel the trousers or perhaps the skin underneath your hand? Awareness of what your hand is touching. And now, can you switch that and feel your own touch? Can you feel the warmth of your hand on your leg? Placing your attention now in the leg, the thing that is being touched. Can you feel the touch of your hand, your palm, resting on your leg or your knee? And then bringing the awareness to the natural and passive breath movement. And as you breathe in, notice how your body expands in different areas. Is there expansion under the collarbones, the upper chest, the back ribs, the mid back? abdomen, lower back and lower belly. Notice the natural ebb and flow of your breathing, bringing you home to yourself. And I'm going to ask you in this moment to inquire into the thoughts you've been having today or yesterday, recent thoughts. And noting to yourself if the thoughts are surrounding either a desire or a fear on your part. Now we could desire to feel a different way and therefore project onto someone that we love that they need to be different <laughs> in order for us to feel better. So, Fear and desire can be veiled and wrapped up and concealed in our thoughts of frustrations or anger or impatience. But at the very heart of the thoughts, the dramas or the situations that have been on your mind recently, can you see where they have either been led by desire, wanting to feel more than you are to add to your life or to add to your experience in some way, or fear, the fear of something being taken away or being less than you are. Noting either desire, desire for change in some manner, or fear. And 
noting if your thoughts come from either one of these places. And so it takes a little self-inquiry and curiosity actually to really dig deep to understand one's thought processes and where we may be coming from knowing that certain fears or desires may be attributing to any anxious thoughts or perhaps certain emotions we have been processing recently. And now with these thoughts and your fears and your desires of the current moment in mind Can you come home to the breath movement? So making that switch from thinking and being consumed by these emotions or information or situations. Notice how you can consciously retune your attention to come back to yourself. And coming home to your breath movement. And this is a very simple but profound technique in meditation. We may become wrapped up in our thoughts and the activity of the mind, but as soon as we're able to pull our attention back into our breath movement and to really feel and to embody ourselves as a witness or an observer of all of the thoughts and all the information. This means that we're already on the path to self-awareness. And as you rest within yourself and the breath movement, have an awareness of simply sitting effortlessly within the movement of the mind. Can we Find a still point in all of the movement of the mind. Maybe the still point is awareness of the breath moving into the nose, the nostrils. Maybe the still point is when you notice and you listen to your own heartbeat. The mind becomes still. And by knowing that we can lose and still remain the same inside We are a spirit or a being that can never be diminished. Your light can never be diminished.
And we can also desire, but from a place of wholeness within. Knowing that nothing external needs to be added to make us whole because we are that already. But rather desiring something from that knowledge, secure in the knowledge of your own wholeness, can be playful and part of the human experience if it's practiced consciously. So neither our desires or our fears have to affect our mind state in this present moment. And neither our desires or our fears are actually larger than the fullness of our being. Nothing is larger than you. You are complete. We are complete as we are. And that completeness carries on Whatever we add to our experience or whatever is lost from our experience, our light can still burn just as bright. And it may take time and it may take self-inquiry and it may take awareness. Awareness of what we desire and fear. But we can retain that connection to our self, that wholeness, as a way of retaining connection to stability, stability of our emotions, stability of our mind and a sense of non-attachment, as far as non-attachment can go, healthily. You know, I think being and feeling attached to things is really part of the human experience, but if it becomes too much or we absorb something or someone into our own identity. That's when we can lose touch with our truest nature through over-attachment to things, to people, to circumstance. So healthy bonding, healthy attachment is born out of understanding that you are complete, you are whole. Resting in the fullness of your whole awareness. Feel your whole body with your awareness. Feel the vibrant being or spirit that you are inside. And feel how your inner space is a refuge or a home that over time when we tend to with meditation 
we can rest within effortlessly. The yogis believed and really had a deeper knowledge of the fact that when our thoughts are in balance, when we reform the quality and the coherence of our thought processes, we affect the chi or the invisible and form less energies within. The energy which animates our vitality and our happiness and our well being, ultimately, what illuminates us, our inner light. Now, bringing your palms together, resting your thumbs at the heart center. And think of three things that you are really grateful for. And sending a wave of gratitude out into the universe for those three things. Take a breath in to the heart center and sighing out. Raise your thumbs to your third eye. Deep breath in and sighing out. And then one final deep breath in and exhale twofold. Namaste.